We're going to space ourselves out and we're going to walk to the north. We're up here at the 89 landslide area. If we find things as we're going along, we'll be inserting pin flags to mark those locations. We had a team from Aztec Archaeology come up to do the archaeology survey. So we'll have all these guys line themselves up and then we'll just start off as a group. And you're just looking for anything that seems like people made it. Pot shards, stone materials, rock alignments. And check some of these boulders and see if there were any petroglyphs on them. A lot of our work is, you know, within existing ADOT right-of-ways. And obviously because of the nature of the project, you know, and bringing down the slope and building the, building the gravity buttress at the bottom, we're looking at a much larger um, area of land than we, than we probably would for a lot of projects. What makes this one challenging, of course, is that we're on the side of a, a landslide. The National Historic Preservation Act of 1966 mandates that a federal agency has to take account of its effects on historic properties. In other words, where could your project potentially damage um, historic properties, be they archaeological sites, um, historic buildings, and in the case of tribes particularly, what they call traditional cultural properties. Right here you've got a piece of lino ware. The one site we did find is, is very far down on the south side of the project area. I was just thinking maybe if I had a couple of pin flags, I've got another piece of lino over here. Lino is a very early pottery type. It's 800, 900 AD maybe in this area. You've got some sort of ovoid you know, setting of rocks here. There's a rock alignment down there that's maybe a site, it may not. We flagged it and we marked it. We took notes on it, you know, we'll, we'll draw it. And we'll include it in a report that we'll produce for the Navajo Nation and the other consulting parties and give them 30 days to comment on it. Photos like this yeah. is just a representative sample right. of them. The archeology span is one facet of the overall environmental discovery that we have to go through here. So we have to look at water, we have to look at endangered species and biology. At the end of the day, what you'll get is what's called our NEPA document. And that basically um, is all of the evidence that we've taken all the steps, including the archeology, span to comply with the National Environmental Policy Act. That's the document that you need you know, before you go to construction. A lot of the National Environmental Policy Act rules, clean air, clean water, endangered species, were passed to protect these resources that really belong to the public. We want to provide them with transportation that they need, but we want to do it in a way that respects those other values. ADOT, keeping Arizona moving.